So you want to see me push on the clutch? <laughs> We're going to do the first moving of this vehicle on its own power in probably 10 years. When, we, when, did, when did we lose oil pressure, Tony? What was that, 2003? Something like that. And that's when we lost the cylinder and motor locked up. He, he, wait, hang on for a second, Tony. He, he's going underneath. He's going underneath. He said he gets a better view from down there. I'm a tight white guy, too. Ha, 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 ha. Nineteen. Show me clutch. All right, we have clutch. Okay. And when you start it up, start it up out of gear, just in case the clutch is stuck. It's out of gear. Boy, she purrs like a kitty now. Thanks to that guy right there. Rev it up! Two feet. Do the front door? Yeah. You got vehicles on both sides. Oh. I don't, I don't have enough to fly over. Well, there ain't nothing out front. Let's look out there. Here, go out to the entrance door. Got room? It's open from here all the way over there. Yeah, you got room. Alright. Got a key? It's in the lock. In the other door. It's okay. In the other door. We're going to take it out side. No. There you go, sir. The magic key. Ah, that's amazing. It is amazing. How's the clutch feel? Feels normal. Well, that's good. Oh, you got plenty of room. Bring it on out straight. Damn bird's nest and mud daubers and everything else. Oh, we're clearing out now. He didn't know he was doing garage maintenance. <laughs> He's a maintenance of everything. 
Pull that blanket off of there once. Let me get a shot of that thing without that. Give everybody the real look. Look at that. What a machine. Tell you what, that motor's running really good. You're clear, Robert. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Get these electric lines. There you go. All clear, Tony. Time this thing seen a light of day in about eight years after they had the motor rebuilt. Oh, that didn't sound good. Look at that monster. Love it. We go on. I don't want to go around this, this stuff. He doesn't like us to move. Okay. Well she looks good. Yeah. How's that how's everything feel? Look, feel alright? It feels it feels like if it was run more, it would be perfectly back to normal. You get up, you got a pedal? Yeah. You got a break? The, the, the clutch is the clutch is a bit uh, sticky. You can see it jump a little yeah. bit. And the first gear is you got to really granny. push it up to keep it there. Right. It, it needs to be run. Right. That's the bottom. Well, now you got it running. Right. Yeah, I know. <laughs> now, here, here's the secret. I can't see what right. I'm doing. We got you. There you go. <laughs> I still can't see what I'm doing. We got you. All right, he's going to be in front and I'll be back here. Okay, we're good. Just take it straight back. Perfect. You're good? You're in your own tracks, you're perfect. Just keep that wheel right where you got it. That is beautiful. You're good. Got plenty of room on my side. Cut it a little bit to me. There you go. Keep going. You're good. Now straighten it up again. There you go. You're good. You're good. And I would suggest you when you park it, park it about a foot back from where you were. That way you're not on flat spots on the tires. Because I saw it settle. You're good. Got both tandems up. You're good. You're good. Good, one more up. Okay, and go back about right, a little bit more. Right there is fine. Perfect, perfect. You're not on your flat spots. How's it feel to drive that thing after all these years? It feels great. Like going home. Yeah, all that time invested. This too. That doesn't bother. Robert, you're an amazing mechanic, my friend. Old car. I know, I know. Many times he called me, he was like, I can't figure it out. Don't, don't, don't. You know? Ah. <laughs> the lights should be on. They're not. They're not? Your, your uh, blackout lights are on. 
There they are. All right. That's amazing. I love it. Yep. They're on. This is the one I placed that much in a fender. Nice. You can feel it here a little what bit. A truck. It's amazing. Can you imagine these guys living in this for over a year? And then freezing in it in the Battle of Vaughn? Freezing yeah. in it any time. Right. There is no heat in them things. Not unless you're hanging your feet over the radiator. <laughs> well, the amazing thing, I was a big uh, Roy Rogers fan when I was a kid. Uh huh. And there was a World War II film done by the combat photographers in the bulb, and they were filming one of these, and it was all painted white because they had camouflaged it white. Yeah, the whitewash. Yeah. The driver hopped down, got in front of the vehicle, and I looked at him in that film, and I said, you got to be kidding me. Roy Rogers had a sidekick, uh -huh. Pat Brady. Okay. It was that man that drove one of these oh, in the bowl, World War II, and nobody knew it. Wow. He never... Uh, Pat Brady was in the, in the armored, armored Corps. Armored Reconnaissance. Armored Reconnaissance. Well, I know you got to have a big smile on your face today, Mr. Tony. Uh, this thing has kept me awake more nights than I want to <laughs> Now you can rest easy, though. Now yeah, you know. You ought to saw the look on his face last Sunday. When, when it started the first here. time. And as soon as he hit the key, it just went boom, fired right up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you put your heart, mind, and soul in this thing. But it's more so uh, because of its history. Yeah. And because of who made it, what the country was like when it was made, what was going on at the time, everybody was pitching in, and what do we got today? Right. Nancy Pelosi. Right. <laughs> the scourge of the planet. Yeah. Anyway. Well, I know you got to be tickled pink. Tickled pink. Huh? <laughs> tickled. Well. Wow. You're surprised you got. Hey, if you ever need, if you ever need a crew. When you do a parade, give me a call. I'll, oh, drive, I'll I, drive to West Monster, get in, want, get in uniform and everything. Well, my, my, my plan is to get this thing fully functional and, and take it to a Westminster parade. Okay. Yeah. Well, if you need a hand putting the seats and all that in it, I'm, I, I can I, give you a hand. I got a welding job for you. Okay, what do you got? <laughs> the, uh, you got to modify your seats? The pogo seats for the Terran. Okay. He has new ones and he has original ones. All right, these are out of the Stewart. Okay, I remember those. Okay. At my office, I have the originals, which the, the problem is that they're so rusty that all of the spring and everything in there... It's, it, it's trash. You, like, it, it, you can't do anything with But on this part, there's a special canopy okay. that goes over top of part of this that attaches to the inside of the hull. Yeah, one on each side. Exactly. Right. Well, I can't use this part, but if we can modify it to make it fit. You bring them other two over here, I'll take them with me and I'll make them work. All right. You because I, my, I use my buddy shop right down the street from my house. Just have to take these good seats because, see, these work. This, these these are Stuart seats. Yeah. And They look like they're brand new. Well, they, actually, to tell you the truth, they are. Uh, well, they're just a little dry. If you put a little grease in there. But actually, see this here. This is what this is what you need. Okay. Here. Anyway, so that that allows the seat to go up and down. I've got the seat bottoms and I've got the backs. We just found. We just the saw backs. the backs, right? So. Well, you bring the other two that aren't no good, but the mounts, and I'll put them on there. You're on. If you want me to take them with me right now, I can. Uh, yeah. There's room in the back. Just put them out here on the floor, and I'll take them with me right now. Yeah. I'll have to get the other part. Yeah, that's fine. And then what I'll do is I'll get your cell number. Okay. I'll call you. And I'll say, hey, I've got the other pieces. And then we can just meet somewhere. Yeah. And there, there is a right and left. Okay. You know. So. Yeah, because one's going to face this way and the other one's going to face that way. Exactly. The little canner. Now, right. That's only part of the problem. Well, what you need now. <laughs> <laughs> Inside, they had something called the basket. Right. Which was the tubes that were part of the firing mechanism okay. for, for the whole thing. In other words, the seats were here, but these tubes came down and they formed like a tripod 
and on the bottom were firing mechanisms. They actually fired the gun with their feet. Right. Yeah, just like an M8. I and mean, the, like a, a yeah, the M6, an M10. The, the 30 caliber was on this side. Okay. So that's the way they had. So wait, wait, what's just? It's probably just one inch tube, right? It's about that big. Oh, so it's about yeah, an inch and a half. About an inch and a half. Yeah. And then smash on the end and weld it up, or, or bolt it, bolt it. You know. Yeah, it was bolted. If we can get a picture of it, we can fabricate it. I can. I have the part. You just got to put it's it in. It's in bad shape. That's all. Bring that too. Well, we'll we'll, we'll make it happen because right. I want to be a part of getting this thing original. Well, I want you to be part. Of it, you know, because I, I, first off, I can't see where I'm driving. <laughs> <laughs> and somebody got to be up top to say, "Hey, you're going to run somebody over back here." <laughs> And then somebody's got to operate the gun. Right. And that'll be this cat right here. Yeah. Boom, boom. He, he likes pulling the trigger. He's already done that with an old <laughs> shotgun. Uh huh. He, like, he told me about that. <laughs> Tony says, I've, I've fired off so many times, he thought I had an old rapid fire. <laughs> <laughs> thought he had a machine gun up there. Oh, Tony, I tell you, that's, that's something else. Yeah, to me it is. It is really a nice piece of history. It sure is. Now we got brakes to do on this thing next. But well, um, I think you guys got that one figured out. You just got to replace the... Well, we need time. We don't have enough time to do it. But, well, not um, here. We have to come to Westminster and do it. Okay. The only other question I have for you, how long is it going to be before we're going to make the transition? All right, we're going to sign off now. Well, you guys enjoy way. it, right? I want to make the transition today.